Hi, my name is Erica. I am an SAT tutor and I have SAT group classes where I teach students how to use Desmos to solve SAT problems among other things. Today we're going to solve this equivalent expression problem using only, or this way, only Desmos. Sorry, the camera's flipped. <laughs> only Desmos. Um, we're not going to be doing it by hand. Um, so if you want to learn how to do this problem in like, I don't know, uh, 20 seconds, then let's go, I guess. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to input this expression. So the question reads, the expression 1 thirds times x squared minus 2 can be rewritten as 1 third times x minus k and x plus k, where k is a positive constant. What is the value of k? A positive constant just means it's a positive number. Um, so what it's saying is that one side of the equation, the 1 third x squared minus 2, is equal to the other side of the equation. So what we're simply going to do in Desmos is input that equation into Desmos. One of the things about Desmos is if we are using a variable that's part of the coordinate plane, it's going to try to graph it. We don't want the graph. We actually just want the calculator. So we're going to do an x sub 1. So we're telling Desmos, like, hey, we don't want to graph that. We just want, we're just using x because that's what we have to do. But we're not graphing it. So, um, oh, I should have explained what I was doing. So I wrote this all out. What we want to do is, why does it always do that? Good job. Um, it, what we want to do is add the slider. A slide is just going to give us the ability to plug in a number into this expression above. Um, I like setting the slider to anything over 2 because um, sometimes it, you can get a little bit, con it gets a little confused sometimes if you do um, 2, it is, it's a whole thing. So I like to do 2 or above, okay, let's just do 3 for example. So what we want to do now is input the other half of the equation. So this equation can be rewritten in this other form, 1 divided by 3 times uh, x, oops, that's not the way I wanted that one, x sub 1, that's where we did sub 1, minus k, the k does not need a sub 1 because k is not part of the coordinate plane, um, x sub 1 plus k. Now we do want to add this slider for k as well. Um, so as you can see from the expression, k is only going to be on the one side of the equation, on this side of the equation. What Desmos is doing is that it's plugging x sub 1 into both of these. Um, but since k is only on this one side of the equation, it's only going to plug k into this side of the equation. Now, since these have to equal, because they're, they, they're rewritten, it's equivalent expressions, um, we want the, this here to equal this side of the equation, okay? They need to be equal. So what we're going to do is go through these problems here, or sorry, the options, and we're going to input the options for k to see if they end up getting equal. Nope, so these are not equivalent. So k is not 2, 6, still not equivalent. k is not going to be 6. Square root, so in Desmos, we can show the keypad. We can choose the square root symbol. Um, let's close the keypad. Um, c is 2, so uh, square root 2. 2.3 is not equal to 1. Lastly, 6, square root 6. There we go. Now the right side of the equation is equal to the left side of the equation, as we can see here. So the answer is D. Um, now, if you weren't yapping like I was to solve this problem, you could probably solve it in, I don't know, 15 seconds, however long it takes you to, do -do -do, to type it in. Um, you can solve this problem so you don't have to actually have to write it all out um, and solve it. So there you go, guys. That's how you can use Desmos to solve these equivalent expression problems. Um, I have a SAT workshop um, twice a week where we cover a specific topic on the SAT um, and we integrate Desmos. So I show you how to do the questions by hand as well as on Desmos. Uh, most of the time, students choose to use Desmos because it's like super fast. All right, so uh, good luck on that SAT, guys. See you later.